Welcome to Belly Acres. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to kind of backtrack and tell you a little bit about who we are, and where we come from, some of the the trials that we've been through uh, health-wise, and that way you kind of get a better feel of, of where we're coming from. Yeah, we're going to do this video a little bit different. Um, we're going to do it separately um, just because um, Rusty's been through things uh, health-wise that he, you know, would like to express and, and talk about, and I have too. And really, this isn't a negative video. It's it's honestly a positive video because we're making some big changes in our lives, and uh, we really do want you guys to come along with us. Um, we've had a few eye-opening uh, uh, situations, I guess. Uh, you know, we're not getting any younger, and, um, you know, Russ has uh, had new diagnoses, diagnoses, di how do you say that? Diagnosis. Um, that made us think about, you know, I mean, really opens your eyes about health and stuff. And uh, my sister, uh, she just had a stroke and that was a big eye opener as well. Um, she's doing fine, she's uh, recovering well, but um, it, it was still a big eye opener. So. We just want to touch on some of the things that we want to um, do. I know it's not the new year yet, and I, I know that all this usually comes with um, resolutions, but you know, um, you can make a resolution anytime. So uh, we are going to kind of change up the dynamics a little bit um, if you're following along, so. Just for today. <laughs> Anyway, if you're interested, uh, just keep watching because it, it's going to get interesting, and uh, we'll we're like I said, we're going to do this separately. So uh, anyway, uh, if you like it, subscribe, share with your friends, hit uh, the bell. You there know, there should be a lot of good information in this. We hope. Yes, we hope so. Okay. <laughs> Okay, like we were telling you earlier, uh, we're kind of doing this episode a little bit different. Um, talking a little bit about health, and not that I'm trying to get anybody to feel sorry for me, because I'm not. I praise the Lord every day that I'm here. And after I tell you what's going on, uh, you'll get a little bit better understanding what I'm talking about. Uh, I was 32 years old, and started having some chest pain at work one day and when I got to work well while I was at work they uh, talked me into going to see the doctor and I all right I took a bunch of you know antacids and did the everything I could think of doing thinking it's heartburn they took me into town and the doctor's office was closed for whatever reason it was a small town so they decided they were gonna call an ambulance. It was getting really bad. Uh, they hauled me into the hospital by ambulance. They said I had a blockage in my heart. Okay, you know, what causes it? We don't know. They went in, uh, put a stent in my heart. Uh, about 30, 40 days later, same thing again bad chest pains, they take me in. They wind up doing another stint because they said the one that they'd put in for some reason wasn't working. Um, I went through this off and on, back and forth for about four years, three years. Uh, three years after I had the first stint placed, uh, I suffered my first heart attack. Didn't really know what was going on. I just knew I hurt. I mean, I was with my dad. You know, had the, we were out with the kids. My dad gave me a ride home. Mom come home. So maybe you need to take another blood pressure pill. I took the pill. It helped for about 15, 20 minutes, and it come back. I uh, went ahead and went to the hospital, and that's when I found out I'd had a heart attack. Um, fast forward about a year and a half later. 
everything's going great, feeling great. Woke up one morning, oh, I, I, I slept wrong. Okay, no big deal. I mean, we all do it. So here I am, 34 years old. I'm at work. I jump in the work truck, go to deliver some parts to an operator, and I get him his parts, and I'm coming home. I remember leaving down there. Next thing I know, I'm in an ambulance, and I'm headed back towards Amarillo. Uh, suffered heart attack number two. They got me into Amarillo, put yet another stent in my heart. I got back to Wichita, Kansas, where my cardiologist was at. They went in. They told me that uh, it's time to go home and get your affairs in order, is the way he worded that. And I looked at him. I mean, I'm 34 years old. And I said, what do you mean, get my affairs in order? And he said, well, he said, if you have another episode, there's nothing else we can do for you. And that sent me spiraling. At the time, I had a little one at home. Uh, that that lit a fire in me. I'm I'm going to beat this. Uh, I went ahead about six months after he told me that. We had another cardiologist at the same clinic say, "Let's do a bypass." We did the bypass surgery. Everything's going great, rocking and rolling through life. Eleven months later, start having problems again. Go back to the hospital. The doctor that did my bypass says the bypass didn't work. It's occluded. There's nothing else I can do. So back to the drawing board. We tried several different doctors, Oklahoma City, Amarillo, traveling around really, really trying to find somebody because I, I'm not accepting the fact that this is it. Um, Meanwhile, I'm just steadily gaining weight. I mean, depression sets in, but I'm still fighting. I had a lot of good, good people backing me and kept encouraging me. My family was encouraging. Um, somehow, and I don't remember how, my mom found this doctor in Wichita at another hospital that said, I can fix it. I go see him. He does his thing. He opens me up. He works on my heart again, and the man was right. He fixed it. So up until now, I've had 17 stents placed in my heart, all in the same artery. Um, the left third of my heart is non-functional. It's there. It's still a live tissue, but it doesn't. the muscle doesn't work to assist the other two-thirds of my heart. Therefore, I get, I get tired pretty quick. Um, I still try to do everything I can. Uh, at one point, the doctors told me in Minnesota at one of the specialty clinics that at 36 years old, I had the, the heart function of a 70-year-old man. I'm nowhere close to 70, and I'm not giving in. Uh, Everything's been getting increasingly better. I've really started paying attention to my health a lot more, uh, really trying to work with my weight, trying to keep it down. Uh, here, I'm going to say two months ago, I was having some cramps in my legs, didn't think too much about it. It got really bad one day, and Rachel told me it's time to go to the doctor. And I kept telling her, oh, it'll go away. I'll, I'll drink some pickle juice. I'll drink some pickle juice. That, that'll take care of the, the cramps. Not a problem. That night, I was awake half the night, couldn't sleep. My legs were cramping. I was hurting. She takes me into urgent care. Get in there, and as we're sitting in the, in the exam room, I told her, I said, we're waiting on lab work to come back. I said, I've got a, a bad gut feeling that they're going to tell me I'm diabetic. And she said, well, that could be, you know. There could be, it could be worse. I say, yeah, it could be worse. The doctor pops in not two minutes later, and he looks at me and he says, has anybody ever told you you're diabetic? And I said, no. Uh, they've always really watched that on me because my dad's diabetic. And he says, you're definitely diabetic. You need to follow up with your primary care. Uh, 
I've been to see my primary care, and Shauna told me the same thing. She said, you're, you're diabetic. Uh, let's do some more blood work to find out how, how much medication you need. And I said, okay. We did the blood work, and it took about four days to get everything back. And when they called, I was really pessimistic. Um, they told me that I did not have to have uh, the shots, but I was going to have to take three medications a day. And unfortunately, my mind goes to, well, of course they want me to take three pills a day. I can't just have one pill to take care of it. i got to walk around and rattle when I walk. And that's where the support comes in from my family and my wife. Rachel is super amazing. She's always, always had the optimistic side. She always takes care of us. Um, she told me, hey, you don't have to have the shot. That's awesome. You take a couple pills. I said, okay, so you're right. I go get my pills. Um, I follow up with the doctor. She told me that everything's going to be better. Uh, biggest life change I've made so far is I gave up pop. And let me tell you, that's been a killer. It really wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but there's days that I definitely think, I'd sure like to have that cold pop. But I just have to tell myself, drink the cold pop and die, or don't drink it and keep right on going. So that's the reason we're, we're kind of where we're at. Um, I know Rachel touched on a little bit. Her sister's a, she's two years older than me, and she just had a stroke and very healthy, always taking pretty good care of herself, and I don't want to be there. Uh, so it just, like I say, it, we're not doing this video to be a downer. Just kind of lets everybody know where we're, where we're from and what's going on with us. We can move forward and try to, to live healthier, make better choices, and it'll pay off in the end. I have no doubt in my mind that this is, this is going to work. Uh, nobody, none of us are getting any younger and I'm going to lose some weight, work on getting a little bit more fit, and who knows? Maybe I got another 40 years in me. Hello, Robertson Belly Acres. It's actually very quiet in here right now. Uh, what I want to talk about is health. And um, we've kind of been through some stuff, Russ and I both, uh, lately. And so uh, Rusty was diagnosed with uh, type 2 diabetes. Is that type 2? Yeah, because type 1. Yeah. Anyway, he was diagnosed uh, earlier this year. And so that was like a big eye opener for us because, uh, or shocker, I guess. Um, I love to cook, y'all, and so does Rusty. And we cook a lot of comfort food. And um, that's not always the best for you. Um, I was diagnosed with hypertension when I was like 27 and the doctor said, you know, it's hereditary, but um, if you maintain your weight and, and these exercise and things like that, then sometimes you can take care of it yourself. And so, um, yeah, I've yo-yoed for years and um, I'm a very active person. I mean, you guys have been following us. We are always on the go, but um, two years ago, uh, my sister-in-law and brother, they wow. went on a um, journey, on a health journey, and uh, they started dropping weight. Like, it was crazy. Like, they were dropping, I think they dropped like 70 pounds in less than six months. And I'm thinking, okay, this is a fad thing. Um, you know, it, it's going to wear off. And um, that was two years ago, and they are still doing amazing. Well, in that same year, I decided I needed to do something uh, for my health, and I went ahead and called her, and I said, hey, help me out, and she did, and it was amazing. Like, I dropped close to 30 pounds in less than three months, 
and I kept the weight off for a year and a half, almost two years. And then I just kind of, I don't know, just started eating whatever I wanted to eat and drinking whatever I wanted to drink. And um, it got out of hand very, very fast. And I never stopped being active. But anyway, I called, Lori was my coach, and um, I'll put a link to her page um, in this description, but she she's my sister-in-law. We have known each other for over 25 years, and I trust her with everything I have. And I called her just the other day, and I said, I am so disgusted with myself. I have put on so much weight just in like from uh let's see maybe i don't even know when it happened like maybe november december last year to now so we're looking at a year i have put on so much weight compared to what i was last year and i feel terrible i don't feel good my joints hurt my blood pressure is through the roof i mean i've i've had to go to the emergency room or to urgent care at least twice this year. I mean, that was non-existent for me once I dropped the weight, once I was staying on target. And so I called her and, you know, you kind of go call with your tail between your legs and it's kind of a, a uh, I know I did this to me, but help me. And, you know, and I, I was just trying, looking for that encouragement really, I guess, or, or for the, hey, this isn't for you. And, she never skipped a beat, man. She was like, uh, it's okay. We all fall off a wagon, you know? And I said, just like on Facebook, they say, I didn't just fall off the wagon. I drug that sucker to the woods and set it on fire. <laughs> and, um, you know, so anyway, um, my goal is, of course, it's, um, it's holidays right now, but I'm hoping that I can get back on track. And um, I, I think the eye-opening experience was when we started shooting this vlog and I was seeing myself. Like, I, I love to put on makeup and I love to be girly, but the line of work I'm in and the farm, I just, I don't have time for it most of the time. So I don't spend very much time in front of the mirror. I just don't. I'm not... I'm not a, I have to check myself out. I'm a, let me throw my hair back in a ponytail and let's roll type of girl uh, when we're working and, and these things. So I guess I just never really paid attention. I knew my clothes were snug and then I knew that I wasn't fitting into clothes anymore. But I'm like, you know what? I mean, it's it's not that bad. I'm looking down at myself going, ah, it's, you know, and I saw myself in videos and I just couldn't believe it. I was disgusted with myself. I was heartbroken that I just, in a year, I just put it all back on, just whatever, who cares? So in September, I got a um, gym membership with my youngest son because he's the last one home and, and we wanted some bond time and he was having a little bit of trouble with anger issues and things like that. And we talked about, you know, you just need an outlet and he's homeschooled, uh, right now. And so he doesn't really have that outlet of being able to go to school and get away from everybody or, you know, so we decided, we asked him, you know, help, let's get you in some extracurricular, rather if it's karate or, you know, something. And he decided he wanted a gym membership. Well, in order to get a gym membership, because he's only 16, I had to um, get a gym membership so then that way, you know, be on there or whatever. And I'm like, you know what, let's do this. So we started going to the gym. I love the gym. I always have. I just don't always have time for it. Well, my husband, um, once mowing season ended, that's when my husband and I are together a lot more because during the mowing season, for the most part, he goes out and mows and does the stuff and I do the office stuff and do all the running here unless they need me if they're, you know, shorthanded. So I, uh, when, once he was done with mowing, he's like, you know, I'd really like to go to the gym with you. 
because we do everything together. It's the craziest thing. Most people say, I don't know how, because I couldn't do, I couldn't spend as much time with my spouse as you do, but we just do. We spend a lot of time together. So, um, anyway, I decided, uh, hey, let's, um, or he decided he wanted a gym membership. So we got a gym membership, and then uh, one of my really good friends, Edith, she uh, she is a lifting freak, and like she's been doing uh, weightlifting, and she does. Um, God, I'm gonna get these words wrong, and she's gonna be like, seriously, she does um, rowboat competitions, and she's just a health nut, and so she. Um, she was sweet enough <laughs> that she sent me a um, a routine. I am kind of, I want you guys to be able to go along on this journey with me because it is an amazing journey and I've done it before. And I know it sounds like, well, if you've done it before, obviously it wasn't an amazing journey or you wouldn't have to be starting over. But that was on me, guys. I'm the one that... Uh, just quit. I just quit. I don't know if I just felt if I was feeling, you know, like I needed to do it. Maybe it was some sort of, um, self, uh, hate or something that I just kind of gave up on myself. I don't know. Um, but, uh, it's time to, you know, pull up my bootstraps and, and get my health in check. And Rusty, I know he wants to get his health in check because now, you know, he's he has his blood sugar to watch. And um, anyway, so a lot of basically what I'm saying is I want you guys to go along with me. I'm not going to turn this into a weight loss um, vlog, but I am going to take you guys along. And uh, some of my stuff in the kitchen stuff is probably going to be a lot of keto type things or uh, paleo or, you know, the, the healthier choices. And so when you hear me talking about the healthier choices and things like that, this is why. And this is the behind the scenes, I guess, of that. So hopefully you guys are going to start seeing less and less of me. <laughs> I mean, still every day, but less of me, right? Um, it's not about the weight loss. It is about the weight loss. I'm not going to lie because... I I am so disappointed in myself when I see myself on the vlogs, but it is also about our health and about our well-being. And um, if you've ever had questions about things, about uh, any kind of keto or um, how it all works and uh, those kinds of things, check out my sister-in-law's link. Um, I, she doesn't have a YouTube, but she does have a Facebook page, uh, and she is probably one of the most helpful, understanding people I have ever met in my life. She, it doesn't matter what she's doing, she always answers. Um, she can be at work, and the second she gets a free second, she is checking her messages. She is always on top, top of it, any kind of questions. Um, I'm telling you, I was skeptical at first, but, um, you know, I know it works and, um, we're going to make this happen y'all. But like I said, Rusty's going to do his little, um, side of this whole thing. And then, um, and then we will, uh, probably post this right after Thanksgiving. Uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, but just kind of giving everybody a, a background and and if you notice I mean we don't have that many videos out but if you notice a dynamics that's changing uh, a little bit that's why is because we we have to make some better decisions so anyway talk to y'all later <music>